Today, I bring to you Righty and Lefty. Righty summons Lefty, Lefty searches Righty, Righty and Lefty makes old entity Hastor, which steals your opponent's monsters and negates their effects, also they cannot attack. It also could summon Brionic and Vulcan the Divine. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. Righty, lefty, synchro. With level duplication, you're going to want to play this with you, say, to get them voice lines from righty and lefty. Thank you, kind Hetz Frund, for the deck idea. We are playing Cosmic Cyclone as our only back row card, as it's incredibly important in this meta to deal with Dark Magician. It also has synergy with this deck, which is what I love to see. That synergy is using it onto your own Hastor. So let's talk about this combo real quick. You summon righty. Righty will summon a lefty from the hand, deck, or graveyard onto the field. Once lefty hits the field, lefty will become a level three monster. So one plus three equals Hastor. Now, with lefty in the grave, you could banish lefty to add righty from your deck to your hand. So one righty basically turns into triple righty because of Lefty continually searching the righty, going to Hastor, Hastor, and also you can make a level six. We'll talk about that in a second. Now when you make Hastor, this is the safest synchro to make turn one against any deck. Hastor says at 2300 attack, when sent to the graveyard from the monster zone, it will equip onto an opponent's monster. That opponent's monster cannot attack, cannot activate their effects. And then if Hastor leaves the field from the back row while equipped onto a monster, you permanently take control of monsters. So if you Cosmic Cycle on your own Hastor while equipped, you yoink. Now this deck also, because of level duplication, will make level sixes like Archfiend's Call. 2500 cannot be targeted by card effects whatsoever. No Treacherous, no Kanadia, no Fiendish Chain. Also, making Brionic is incredible, as you could discard cards to return cards back to the hand, any card in the field, multiple cards, and then Vulcan. Vulcan is what makes this so good with Hastor, it is crazy. So, for example, you'll summon Righty. Righty will summon Lefty. Then, you could reveal any level 3 monster in your hand to change the Righty into a level 3. So now the Righty and Lefty becomes level 6 Synchro. But preferably, we're going to use the tracker and wielder engine to make our level sixes while we keep the righty and lefties onto the Hastor. The wielder and tracker engine is amazing. If you have a level three monster on the field, you could special summon either monster onto the field. Well, because lefty is a level three, once it hits the field, you could special summon tracker. So you're gonna have tracker, lefty and righty, synchro and a Hastor, and then you have a monster slot open, then you're gonna special summon your wielder. Now, Wielder is a tuner, Tracker is the non-tuner, and what they do is, when you Synchro with them, they give your Synchro a special ability. The Tracker will boost up the Synchro by plus 600, so imagine a 3100 attack Archfiend's Call cannot be targeted. That is incredible. Wielder will destroy a monster on the field smaller than the attack of your Synchro. So get ready for this play. Dark Cavalry seeing a lot of use in the meta right now. It negates cards that target. So how do you get around the Dark Cavalry? Well, with Vulcan the Divine, you could target the Cavalry and return it back to the hand, back to the extra deck when you have a Wielder. Because Vulcan will be Chain Link 1, Wielder will be Chain Link 2. Chain blocking the Vulcan is so incredibly important for returning Dark Cavalries, for playing around Blackbird Closes. Let's try something. Righty. Lefty. Baboosty. Wieldy. Let's go. Chain link block. If this blocks it. What? This won't stop the Vulcan, right? I, it still returns? I think that we had to target the Vulcan though. It says return those targets, which based off of that, it tells me, wait, nope. <laughs> Got him! Wow, Vulcan? Vulcan wielder? 
Whoa, hello. Also, what's great about Vulcan is return your Hastor back to your extra deck to send a face-up card your opponent controls back to their hand, and then Hastor will take control of their monster permanently alongside your Vulcan. So essentially, you took control of a monster, you returned another back to the hand, you have Vulcan and their monster that you took control of. That is crazy. Now Sangin will search for the Wielder, will search for the Righty to make the deck more consistent. Also Sangin, when used with Wielder, can search for a Sphere Karibo or a Gillosaurus. When you search for Gillosaurus with your Sangin, you could special summon it. It will not special summon a monster from your opponent's grave, it's just extra damage, or just a level three to special summon and synchro. I'm not really sure about this part of the deck, but I am sure about this. So this is nuts. You're gonna love it. You could also easily make a Samurai Destroyer despite me never even summoning it, as you could summon a righty into lefty and then special summon a tracker. That makes a 3200 Sam Destroyer that negates any cards on its attack. Love the deck. Surprisingly, it did so, so well. Fools! Thank you, my friend. One more month, you will be shooting them laser beams. Ooh, ooh, show me the plays, boy. Last off, old the dollar says, I'd rather support DLM than Konami. I'm working on a card game, okay? The, the big hump I'm working on is, how the heck do I get developers? So I was thinking, when you hire developers, you have to hire them as like part-time, right? Before they become full-time, the game has to be a success. Or do you have to have enough funding to make them quit their job and just work on your game for full time? How's that work? How's that work? Okay, I'm just gonna set the Sangin and chill. I think he's got double dual wield. He might overcommit to the field. I, I doubt it though. I think he'll draw. If he doesn't set it, he's gonna keep it in his hand. What the? Really? 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 You set a monster. What is your back row? Let's grab the righty. Let's. I'm gonna read the rest of your message, my friend. Last awful, thank you. Let's get hyped. Let's get ready. Let's get drawing. Okay, focus. Got some big plays here. Righty. Activate. He's got nothing. <laughs> he's he's set with the dual wields. Are you kidding me? Because that's what it looks like he did. Ba boost. Trekker. Let's make a half store real quick. Old entity. Hastor! Bree! Onik is the way. Yeah! Let's go! You're mine! Cosmic Cyclone! You're negated, don't even try. Oh, why did you try? Now I can't activate it. Ya yeah, yoink! Brionic! Return! <laughs> Jesse? What's wrong, Jesse? Return! Back to the hand. Betray your master, Jesse. Crush this fool. Jesse's Shien betrayed. Fool. Back to Fortnite. Yes. Her, Sir, Sir Zorger. Let's go. So thank you for the great content and keep it up. Greetings to you, Gia, and your pets from Germany. You fools. Speaking of Germany, there you go. A German supporter. Love it. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for the eight months, one month away. That baby is here. Real 325. Why is Dark Magician a problem when we have Last Day of the Witch? Of course, you know, just Last Day of the Witch in the end phase. Yeah, just do it, forehead. 
Thank you, Real325. Keeping it real with that two month sub. Jinzo Pro. Did I review Gladiator Beast yet? Yes. Exclamation mark YouTube. It's the latest video. 15 minutes, nice and compact. We talked about using it with My Monster cards. We talked about using it with Spell Specialist. We talked about using it with Trap Layer. Okay, let's go. We never have Lefty in our hand. That's great. That's great. Let's go. Lefty. Baboosty. So, let's special summon tracker. Let's make a, what kind of Hastor we want? A thick Hastor or a thick Brionic? We don't want Hastor to be that thick. It doesn't need to be thick. Thick Brionic. You know, I'm sad because it looks like we just win. <laughs> just win, forehead. Let's Synchro. And I will do the voice line next game. I promise. I promise. Discard. Return. Very good. <laughs> Is that it? That's it. Fool. It's that easy to clap with this deck. Yeah, buddy. With that Casey Cub music. Righty. Summon Lefty. Lefty Baboost. Summon Hastor. Now, Hastor with a Cosmic Cyclone means we could take control of any monster that Hastor equips onto. So, Cosmic Cyclone has some great synergy. I'm really liking this deck. Who's liking this deck? I'm loving this deck. The Vulcan chain blocking to counter cavalries. The Yoinking with the Vulcan. This is so good. Structure. Okay, get out of here, trolls. So, setting a card, then activating Galaxy Cyclone. Unless you really want me to Cosmic Cyclone this set card, why'd you do that? Why did you do that? That's called acting first, then thinking later. I'm gonna set this. Okay, maybe I want a Galaxy now. No, mad play. Squire gets squiring. Samurai Saga. I got a Hastor, buddy. Seal Tombs will not stop my Hastor. Nothing will stop my Hastor, but now my Gillosaurus is gonna get Gillying. Gillying. Ya yeah, yoink! He's negated. No yoink yet. Now, he did deny our lefty. Our lefty in the grave. Whoa! -ho -ho! Yeah, buddy! Uh, what do we have? We don't have lethal? Oh, we do. <laughs> Cosmic Cyclone! Come to me! Special summon! Come to me! Now this is not lethal, but now it is! Lefty for lethal, boy! Ya yeah, yeet! Blesco Bar, how did you get through the emote only? Hey! Fool! Popper with my lefty. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, this deck's so good.